This is a female orb weaving spider. It's about the size of my thumbnail. And um, <laughs> she's making a web in my chicken run, right equal with my face. And um, I was walking down here to lock up my little banty chickens for the night. <clears throat> and here she is, they almost walked face first into that. I know she's here because uh, I've walked into this web a few times already. But I think it's really interesting to watch them weave this web. The typical, you know, orb spider web that everybody thinks there's a spider web. These guys uh, are making it, and she is uh, connecting a line of silk to each one, pulling it in. If you can really look and see her doing that, it's pretty amazing. I don't know if people take the time to watch something like this. <clears throat> They're too creeped out by spiders. Um, you can see her eyes reflecting. She's a big girl. The males are a lot skinnier and smaller. But she will make a new one every night. There's a lot of energy that goes into that if you ever think about it. And then there's the amazing thing that the blueprint for this web is in the jeans. Now how does something like that happen? You know, you can preach about evolution all you want, but there is something more to it than random chance. Because the evolutionists want you to believe that this is a result of random chance after billions of years. And according to the fossil record, uh, these anthropods have been here, arthropods I should say, have been here before the dinosaurs, long before the dinosaurs. So you're watching something build an extremely intricate tool that's what a web is. A web is a tool to catch prey. It's pretty fascinating. It never fails to amaze me the, the rich diversity of nature. And unlike my evolutionary or evolutionist type friends, I don't believe that any of this is random chance. There is too much order, too much design, too much, too much involved with this. This creature doesn't really have a brain like higher organisms. But look at what it can create. It's not taught this. It never learns this. It's completely instinctive. It's built into its very fabric of its being from the day that it's conceived. And it's pretty fascinating stuff. You really, really think about it. Then when she's all done, she'll sit in that center. And all that is is just a sticky, there's already a small insect caught in it. Down in the right hand corner here. It's pretty amazing. It really is. Little things like this uh, fascinate me. I, 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 I can't help it. Each one of those 
webs is, is stronger than steel in its thickness. That's amazing too. She felt me hit the uh, hit the fence that it's anchored to. It's anchored over here. It's anchored up on the top, if you can see, all the way to the sides and down here. And this is where I walk through. My face has gone through this more times than I can count, so I've learned how to avoid it every night. But if you look, there's a little tiny insect caught in there already. When I come out in the morning, then the web is down. And um, what she'll do is she'll hide, probably up in there somewhere. She'll hide. Oh, looks like, oh, ooh, we almost got some action there. Wow. Almost got caught. Well, that would be uh, totally because of me with the light here. See how she uh, ran down awfully fast. She wasn't that big. Um, oh, 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 we almost had another moth. Another moth almost came to the light. Come to the light, Mr. Moth. Come meet your doom. I can't think of any more horrible way for an insect to die than being eaten by a spider. You're paralyzed by its venom and then your insides are liquefied into a protein that's drinking like a straw. And then they suck you dry. It's, that's a horrible way to die. Even for an insect. Thankfully, these things stay this size. Well, that's a horrible way to die. But everything has to eat. And spiders feed a lot of creatures. And there's a little insect that got caught. Doesn't appear to catch the spider's attention. Well, that's interesting. So obviously she needs bigger prey items. And it's another interesting thing to see that the inside of the web, that inner circle, is not complete as the outer part of the web. But the part that she's sitting on has got lots of little uh, webs going to those larger ones. That's pretty cool. I was hoping the moth would get stuck and we get to see her come down and take care of business. Well, yeah, it appears that these small things, yeah, it don't matter. It's all tied up here. I got another one that's outside here that puts it way up. And she ties this thing up about two feet over my head, which is probably about eight feet high. It's pretty weird. Well, enough for that. There we go. Orb weaving spider. What species I don't know.